This question is from the Double Award uh, Unit 6 Foundation Tier Paper from 2018. It's a data analysis and a little bit of recall within this question. Uh, the first thing they want us to do is they want us to remember that the solar system was formed um, by the collapsing of a cloud of dust and gas. That's one of those things you just need to learn, I'm afraid. And then they've given this, this great big table full of information uh, for us to pick some things out from. Uh, so they want us, first of all, to describe how the temperature on a planet depends on the distance from the sun. So along the top here, we've got the distances from the sun, and as you can see, they're getting bigger as they go that way. And then here, we've got the temperature on those planets, and you can see they're getting colder as they go that way. So I would say the bigger the distance, the lower the temperature. Okay? And it says, identify the planet that doesn't uh, follow this pattern. So if we have a look, uh, we're expecting it to go down as we go across this way, but Venus, funnily, just goes up, and then it goes down, and that pattern happens. So Venus is the exception here. i flip over to the rest. The next bit here is about an asteroid in the asteroid belt, and we're asked to estimate its temperature. So what you need to remember is that there is an asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, so anything between uh, minus 20 and minus 150, so I'm going to choose minus 100, estimate the orbital time. So again, I'm doing the same as I did before. So the orbital time is 2 and 12, so anywhere in between there. So let's go for 7. And then lastly, it says, it is suggested that the greater the mass of the planet, the more moons that will orbit around it. Explain whether the data agrees with this suggestion. Now, it, it's set up a little bit funny. You could just say, I agree and be lazy, or you can have a little bit of a look and see what you can find out. So Mars has twice as many moons as Earth, but if you have a look, it's actually much lighter. And then again here, we've got um, Neptune is heavier than Uranus, but it's got less moons. So the pattern doesn't quite fit. We need to use either of those examples in our answer. So we could say, uh, I disagree, or we start with that, because Mars has more moons, but is lighter than the Earth. So as you can see, this question was quite a quick question, but it was quite a nice question. Um, I hope you have found today's video useful.